Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Joaquim and today I want to show you the new ThurWeb drop contracts and what you can build with them. Before we jump into the video, I want to let you know that currently 70% of the amazing people like yourself that watch ThurWeb's YouTube videos are still not subscribed to the channel. So before we begin, I'd love to ask you a favor. If you get any value out of these videos, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the ThurWeb channel. And a little tip is we're going to be airdropping 10 users who have subscribed to the ThurWeb channel, a very special NFT every week. So here I am on my dashboard. I just deployed a new NFT drop contract and minted some NFTs on it. Some nice shapes here. The new thing that came out with these new drop contracts is this new claim conditions behavior. In this new claim condition UI, we allow you to do a new override behavior that allows you to set some conditions for any wallets, but then override that behavior for certain wallets. What that allows you to do is, for example, here I have a drop where each NFT costs 0.5 ETH and only one can be claimed per wallet. I just set a snapshot with two addresses here and you can see that I can customize per address how many can be claimed the price of each NFT and even the currency of which I can pay with to claim that NFT. Let me save that up and show you what it looks like in the ThurWeb embed, which you can just drop into your website. Everything I'm showing you here is doable from code as well, programmatically using the ThurWeb SDK. So I just saved my claim conditions. Let's check it out on the embed tab now to see what the resulting behavior is. So here I'm connected with one of the addresses that can pay with a custom currency. So I put in the currency of USDC. So only this address can claim in USDCs. And if you remember, I put in the price, so it's 1.2 USDCs. So this is what gets reflected here. And I can claim two, so I can add one more, but it doesn't let me go above that. And now it's gonna cost me 2.4 USDCs to claim these two. If I switch accounts to one of the other ones in the list, this one, now it's gonna tell me I'm not allowed to mint two tokens because it's this address right here that can only claim one. So let me go back to one. And for this address, I said that the price should be zero. So it's gonna be completely free. And if I switch to yet another account, that's just uh, any other account, for example, this one, that is not in my override list, it's just gonna get the default behavior of 0 0.5 of the native currency for girl in this case and only one per wallet. This is super powerful because it lets you do all sorts of different drop conditions really easily, either from the dashboard or from code with the SDK. You can do this override behavior where a certain amount of addresses can claim for free or can claim with a different currency, or you can also make it so that only addresses in the snapshot can claim like a traditional allow list. We think this is gonna unlock a lot of different use cases. Think, for example, offering cheaper or free claims for holders of your previous collection, pay in your own token for holders of that token. The possibilities are endless here and we can't see all the creativity that's gonna come out of this. Hope you enjoyed it. Go check it out right now. Uh, the new drops V4, NFT drop, edition drop, token drop, and let us know what you think. And of course, if you enjoy this video, you wanna see more Web3 content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next one.